Really good to see you. Uh, first thing to say is we watched you going head to head with your, your brother in the next yesterday. You two love going up against each other, don't you? Yeah, it was good fun. It was nice to be back because I haven't been back to the Oval for a while. So, especially see Tom again. He's been away, so I've also been away a bit. Always nice and competitive in the indoor school with the echo going around as well. <laughs> now, since we last saw you, you've made that England Under 19s debut. Congratulations on that. How, how, how was that that experience out there in Sri Lanka? Yeah, it was really good. I went there with the Surrey Academy in April, so I knew what to expect, kind of, with the conditions and stuff. But it was, well, as a team, we struggled. We didn't really can, perform in the games as we would have liked. But I think it was a good experience, especially the main aim was to look forward to the World Cup in Bangladesh. So I think we didn't get the results we wanted, but I think we made steps in the right direction. So we go to Dubai next week, Thursday. So to be a good time to get back as a group and kind of hope to get a confidence to go into the World Cup and win games. Yeah, as you say, do you think as a squad you've, you've learned a lot from, from that Sri Lanka tour to take into, into the World Cup? Yeah, definitely. I think we had a huge, a huge look. I think as a bowling group, we bowled pretty well. I think our main fault was our batting. We did well in the power play and then as soon as the spinners came on, we struggled to gain partnerships. We spoke a lot about partnerships, so that's what we, we looked to do. I think... I think what was the problem was we just kind of hadn't played together as much. So I think now that we've played together, then we played we played South Africa in Dubai and kind of not a warm up game, but and then before the warm the World Cup in Bangladesh, we played Bangladesh in a warm up game. So that'll get, hopefully, I think game time is going to help a lot rather than just training. So to get to know each other and know each other's roles. I think the good thing about Sri Lanka was we all got to know what role we were doing. Mm -hmm. So I think I bowled with the new ball in a couple of games and came in the middle order and. We know what we're to expect now going into the World Cup. Yeah, and how much are you looking forward to, to playing in a World Cup for, for your country? It's something special, isn't it? Yeah, really special. I think it's something I've wanted to do over the last couple of years, just going through the EDP groups, going down to Loughborough and stuff, getting to know everyone. So I think we've got a good group and I think look, looking at our chance, I think we've got a big chance. I think if we perform on the day and just execute our skills, we'll do well. And it would be nice to see what other teams, our age group, we're not, nice to see the best of our age group around the world, which will be good experience. Yeah, because in that group it's Fiji, isn't it? Zimbabwe and the, and the West Indies. So, so three interesting games. I yeah. suppose Fiji, you'd be confident of beating them, but the Zimbabwe and the West Indies games will be tough ones. Yeah, exactly. I think Fiji, we play them on the 20, 26th or 27th, so we do. We, no one really knows what to expect from them. So hopefully we just go in there and do what we do best and hopefully come up with one. I think then we play the West Indies, which again, we don't know much of because we've only played recently Sri Lanka, Australia and India. So I think the main thing is just kind of not to get too, too many thoughts in our mind and just go out there and perform the best we can really.